you know, we have triggers. So when we have wounds, regardless of the wounds, regardless of our past, regardless of the things we've been through, our goal as love snobs is to understand that when you're now entering relationships with a new person, these people are your future. These people are the people that's going to help you persevere past the wounds. They're going to enhance your life. They're going, you're getting with this person or you're allowing this person to be in your life because you believe that they're not going to be a hindrance. They're actually going to be an encouragement. They're actually going to be progress. They're actually going to be somebody that supports you. So we had a lot of people talk about their triggers. You know what I mean? And I want to know where you stand. I know where we stand as a whole, as a, you know, as a company, but where do you stand when it comes to your triggers? Do, is it other people's job to avoid your triggers or is it your Absolutely job not. to understand your triggers? So I put, my belief is that triggers come by way of, um, soreness, right? Like if, mm -hmm. if, if you were punched in the same spot over and over again, right? As soon as somebody goes to touch that spot, it triggers a response, whether it's jump, whether it's to hit back, it triggers a response, okay. which means that that area isn't healed. That area still hurts. Yeah, that's right? a good so, analogy. So the way that I see it is that our triggers are there to identify that there is something there that needs to be dealt with. Right. And other people can't heal us. We can only heal us. We, we utilize we utilize outside sources to support us in our healing and to uh, help us identify the areas which need to be healed, you know, but um, the, the work needs to be done by way of us. So if we're not doing the work um, and someone is experiencing us in a way that is not a positive experience, we need to be able to identify that and understand that it's some work that needs to be done. Now, do I believe that, um, in times where you're not yet where you need to be healing wise, mm -hmm. um, wound wise, that you're going to need grace <laughs> at moments. Absolutely grace. But do I believe that someone is supposed to put themselves in a line of fire just because you're deciding that I went through something and this is hurting me? Hell no. Okay. So what, what I heard you mention grace. What does grace look like? Grace looks like somebody holding you accountable and giving you an opportunity to show show different. She's giving you the opportunity to show up for yourself, which by by at the same time ends up being you showing up for them. Okay. So it doesn't mean stopping the conversation. It doesn't mean stopping, you know, where the conversation is going. It doesn't mean biting their tongue. It just means that you have an understanding that that's a trigger and you give them the time to process that trigger in the, in real time. That's what Absolutely. you're saying. Like get Absolutely. a clear understanding. I don't think that running is a part of the process. Okay. Or stepping back from the, the heat. No, I think, I think you have to face it head on. Um, the only time that I've actually received any real insight on who I am and, and, and what I needed was by way of me actually facing the fire. Definitely.